Hello, this is John Kavanagh from DMV Software, and this is a quick introduction into the features of the Graph Wizard in VAR7. A new feature for VAR7 is the Graph Wizard. The Graph Wizard enables you to define a new graphical custom view of data, which is added to the graph gallery. Fast has the ability to create new charts based on background data from calculations which have been run. So firstly, open a new study in VAR7 and insert a pressure vessel under the study folder of the models tab. Rename the pressure vessel to time varying chlorine release. And open the input dialog to complete the data. So first we will set the material to chlorine. Set the mass inventory to 1800 kilograms. Temperature to 9 degrees the pressure to 3.5 bars and the phase to be released will automatically turn to vapor and in the dispersion tab set the concentration of interest to 20 ppm and then set the averaging time concentration of interest to toxic and OK the dialog As an example, we will now input a time varying leak scenario from the insert options of the right click menu and rename it average rates. Now we want to open the dialog for the leak scenario and set the hole diameter to 250 millimeters and OK the dialog. The equipment item and the scenario are now complete and the time bearing leak scenario is now ready to run. So select the time bearing leak scenario and click run discharge from the home tab of the ribbon bar. We are now ready to produce a graph using the graph wizard. To do this, move to the tools tab and select the option to, of the graph wizard. A creating graph for time bearing release dialog will open. You can produce graphs of all manner of data. In this example, we will produce a graph of time varying mass flow rate versus time. So firstly, under data source, select the TVDI results. Select the elapsed time as the x-axis data and name it time in seconds. And leave all other input dialogues as their default values. Click next. Now we need to plot the y-axis y data. So on this screen you can tick the box to have two y-axis at the bottom of the dialog. In this simple example we will only use one y-axis. Under Y axis data item, select mass release rate and mass release rate BD and set the title to vapor mass release rate and that's in kilograms per second. And leave all other input values as their default values. In the next dialog, select the mass release rate versus elapsed time option. And click next to create the graph template. Under the title option, make the graph vapor mass release rate versus time. Name the category discharge. and the tab caption TV mass flow versus time click next at this point you'll see a preview of your new graph click back at the top of the dialog if you need to make any changes click next once more to complete the graph wizard 
and then click finish to return to the study tree. The user defined graph has now been created and can be viewed by selecting the time varying leak scenario in the models tab and select the graph icon on the home tab of the ribbon bar. In the select weathers dialog select only the category 5D weather and OK the dialog and then move to the discharge tab that you've created to view the results. The figure will display a decrease in vapour mass release rate with time reaching zero at approximately 49 seconds. So the graph wizard allows you to display customised views of data specific to your reporting needs that may be beyond the scope of the standard graph gallery.